What's up YouTube? This is Brandon with Tactical BS coming at you today with a couple of EDC blade options. Got a couple different knives from Civivi here we're going to check out. So give me a minute, we'll jump over to the table, crack the boxes open and see what they're all about. Back at the workbench. Let's crack these open. Let's see. Conspirator element. There's the elementum. There's the conspirator. As you can see, uh, they ship them in these nice little zip up cases. So we got, got the blade. Nice little sticker for the toolbox. Uh, and a little cleaning cloth. There's the aluminum. I assume it's going to be the same thing in this package. And it is. And it looks like you get stickers of the elementum. <laughs> nice. All right, throw those aside. So first, let's break out the aluminum. See that nice micarta pocket clip. Oh yeah, opens up smooth. Eh, it takes a little working in to get it to drop. It's all right. It's a new knife. It's stiff, and we got the. Conspirator. Now oh, the green on that. Both of these are green. You see a different, definite color difference in the greens there. Let's see this one. Ooh. Oh yeah. That one drops much smoother. I like, I like. Uh, this one, Conspirator has a reversible pocket clip. But, let's crack both these things open. I'm going to grab my little fact sheet. Go over it while we're playing with it a little bit. Alright, so the aluminum here. That's a nice champing. Uh, the aluminum says dark green micarta handle, which I believe, because like I said, you can see the color difference in the greens. Uh, features a 2.96 inch black stone wash blade made of D2 steel. Uh, the close length is 4.3 inches. The weight is 2.74 ounces. It is tip up. Right hand carry only. So if you want to carry left handed, you're not going to be able to with this knife. Features a liner lock and has cage ceramic ball bearing pivot. Which it opens buttery smooth. It's just the, the closing of it. It's a little tight. Maybe even oil it up a little bit. And get it to close a little bit smoother. Alright, then we got the Civivi Conspirator. Push button. Obvious. All right. Uh, green micarta handle. The green on this is a lot more bold. I like the this green a lot better. It has a uh, 3.48 inch black stone washed nitro v blade so a little bit better quality uh blade on this one uh, closed length 4.63 inches weight is 3.2 or 3.82 ounces and it is again tip up design only this time you can reverse the pocket clip and carry left-handed or right-handed uh, the button lock and again cage ceramic ball bearing which that look how smooth that thing is, man. We we're talking about the difference between. I think this one's roughly 
40 to 50 dollars and then these run you about 80 to 90 bucks i don't know i'll uh check it out where i left it on amazon where i purchased on amazon and let you know for sure all right so what would a knife video be without a paper test so let's bring out a piece of paper rock the aluminum if I can do this at the angle underneath the camera. Oh, super sharp. Let's see. Super sharp. Super sharp. Pretty impressive. Let's try the conspirator. Oh, that's like a samurai sword right there. That is a nice cutter. Had to say something right. No, that's super sharp right there. I like that one a lot. All right, so there you have it. Got both the knives, the aluminum and the conspirator. Uh, if I had to pick one knife that I was going to carry with me every day based on what I've been doing right now, it's probably going to be the conspirator. Uh, that's in no way a detriment to the aluminum. I think the... Uh, the blade steel is better. You can see it cut like a samurai sword. I like the size of it better. I can uh, flip, reverse the uh, pocket clip if I want to. Carry it left-handed. The push button is nice. Uh, they both have ceramic bearings. But this one just opens and shuts like butter. Whereas this one, which may break in over time. Or even after oil in it. But it takes some a uh, little bit of work to get it to shut. It's not bad though, not bad at all. All right, so uh, I'll jump back up top, give you guys my final thoughts, and see you in a minute. All right, back up to the big table. Uh, got the conspirator and the aluminum. Both of them really solid knives. Uh, the conspirator has a little bit nicer blade quality. It's a little bit larger. And has the push button versus the aluminum is a uh, liner lock with a smaller blade. D2 steel aluminum, uh, nitro V steel for the conspirator. Both of them are, in my opinion, really good quality knives. Uh, you can call them really good quality budget knives. But really, Civivi doesn't make what I would consider budget knives. I think they make nice knives that just happen to be a little bit lower priced. Uh, the micarta feels great on both of them. Uh, if you were going for a real minimalist carry, you could go with the aluminum. Because it is a little bit smaller, but it's not all that much smaller. Uh, being a lefty, the conspirator, conspirator, you can switch the pocket clip to left hand carry. Which is not as much of a big deal to me because I carry my gun left handed appendix. So it's easier for me to have a gun on the left side blade on the right. I was kind of raised to use both hands anyway, so. Uh, like I said, I don't think you go wrong with either one. Both of them cut really nice. Feel really good in the hand. Both real fidgety. Uh, the button lock, maybe a little bit more fidgety. Especially since how it closes so easy. Um, yeah. I'll drop a link uh, where I purchased these both on Amazon. In the description, feel free to shop around. Not affiliated with Amazon or Civivi. Just uh, doing my own personal assessments here. Uh, as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If the content something you're interested in, uh, please subscribe and hit that little bell notification. You'll get notified whenever I put out new content. I have a lot more new content to come, including when I get to the range... Uh, my Arrow AR-10 chambered in 308 back here. I put it together last year. Haven't got a chance to shoot it yet, but I'm patiently waiting to be able to hit the range with that thing. It's uh, set up with a primary arms 1-6, to six, second focal plane scope, and I'm anxious to see what it can do. So thanks again for stopping by, and stay tuned for more to come.